Hello, today is the 17th of December 2016. Let's review Thursday night's calls. We had a MJT target of 2268.27. I said I'd be happier if it didn't print since the system likes to leave a failed target at a major change in trend. The high was 2268.05. 22 cents doesn't sound like too much, but it's outside the tolerance of the system. So we do have a failed target. We also looked for a pattern which had a high about the end of the first hour of trading and dropped throughout the day, and that's what we got. We don't have any new MJT numbers for Monday. As far as Monday is concerned, I have mixed indicators. The commonest thing when that happens is we gap outside the day's range, is we make, a, is make that we make a gap and promptly trade outside the day's range. And the next most common thing is we close a little changed. It's negative that we dropped all day. You, and usually when this happens on the Friday, it follows through until Monday. If not, there's usually a gap up. It's also negative that we have a re-challenge of the origin of the diamond on stilts pattern. That, in fact, is what this is. This diamond here isn't the clearest one I've ever seen, but usually a re-challenge. And this support breaks hard. Those are all negatives, but they'd be negated if we gapped up and promptly traded over this high. We do have some positive things. One is this is a pattern which usually closes at the day's low. When you can't close under any of these lows or even the early lows or even the prior lows, it's usually a sign of strength that these lows can't be broken on the close. It usually leads to a rally. That positive sign would be negated if we had a gap open and promptly traded under these lows. We do have a number of DeMarc sell signals too, but they just indicate the particular area of the high and not the exact price. So what's going to happen? Well, here's the all-time high. I said Thursday night that if this sell signal from DeMarc was going to work, I'd like to see us drop promptly and convincingly. That hasn't happened. I've tried hard to find the wave count for this. I really can't find one I like. I suppose someone's going to, to call this a triangle, maybe even a, a, a diagonal triangle here. I just can't see any of those things. But I do think it's possible that we have completed an ABC, and this might be a D. Now, I know a lot of people have this at the as the end of wave four, and we're in wave five, and there should be five waves up. It's possible. I just don't think this counts as a five-wave structure. I think these are all threes, and certainly all the action recently has been threes. If that's true, and that's C, we should, and if this is a triangle, and I'm not certain it is, there should be one more fling up. If we get the fling up, that would give me some more DeMarc cell signals, this time on the 130-minute chart. I would like recent highs to hold. Here's um, the daily chart. I showed previously on the monthly chart how the Fibonacci relationships between the TDS T lines came pretty close to calling the top. Here's a daily. If you go back to the original TDST line here, and you can see how the 50% and the 78.6 and 23.6 are pretty good hits at the high. I'd like to see the hole with breaking it briefly wouldn't change anything. Here's the weekly chart. Here's your DeMarc sell signal. Here's your uh, bar completely over the upper Bollinger. That's a negative sign. Once we undercut this low, the week's low, that should give us a target of challenging the lower Bollinger band, and that's a pretty good size drop. So as far as Monday is concerned, um, <clears throat> I think we have a good chance for a gap open. I think 
the most likely scenario is that we gap up. What I'd like to see is a high of the day around lunchtime, or at least a re at least a relative high around lunchtime, followed on Tuesday by a day that looks pretty much like Friday. I think if we do gap up, it won't last very long. I think that's the most likely thing, but if we gap down and undercut these lows, there is nothing I see that prevents a very big drop here. And I think that this is still a top formation in the event. So any rally here should be played with caution. And that's today's call.